small glove tie ones that we got. Oh. I was thinking about trying to hop over the cage with it, but I, I realized Pat would probably beat me up. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Synthesis BJJ's Nat Kaba. I've had the honor of calling, I believe, one or two of this gentleman's fights. For a heavyweight, he defies the laws of physics, and I'm just sick of it because I can't even lift my foot up over my knee in home dogs throwing spinning wheel kicks like they're nothing. He definitely fights like a 70 pounder. He moves really, really well. Throws his kicks with good form. Uh, he's got a good chin. Well, he got like a karate background. I, I see a lot of spinning kicks. We got lots of mics over here. All of a sudden we have like five mics at the, the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the greatest fights that you can make a heavyweight here in all of New York State, let alone the U.S. Northeast. Nat Kaba versus El Shaddai Van Hosen. The shit talk has been real, folks. If you watch the greatest damn collaboration of all podcasting history, Caveman's Corner meets all the calls. We had these gentlemen on, and they had nothing nice to say to each other. Yeah, 37 minutes of bad words to each other. That was like talking with Ray on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> talking to Ray in any circumstance. <laughs> talking like Ray to Ray about 765. <laughs> These are some big guys came in, what, what, uh, 265? Yeah, this is the heavyweight. He weighed at 250-something pounds. El Shaddai came in at 262, and El Shaddai is usually a super heavyweight. There he is, Rochester's Matt Cobble. This is the fight that every promotion wanted. Dude, there's a lot of people that are big mad because they did not get this fight, and I love it. Keith Ferrant nailed this fight. You know what? They go to the promotion that's going to treat him right. I said it. Yeah, now, Keith the man. Not only that, the K4 belts actually mean something. You go to all these promotions, guys with like yeah, one fight, out, yeah. one and four, you get a title shot. Not here. Cedric Ortiz won his title over a 2-0 fighter. Now, this is the biggest pimp entrance I've ever seen in my life. Yes, this is the Ray uh, walkout for sure. El Shaddai Van Hosen, the coat potentially on the line here, the big <laughs> pisser. He has power in both hands. He's a wild thrower. I Incredible love this Incredible wrestler as well, man. He has shut out his last, or his first three opponents, didn't even make it out of the first round. Mark Moses, first round knockout, flatlined him. Jarrell Wicks, one clean punch, put him out. The former super heavyweight champion down in Schenectady, Corey Quintana, starched him with one punch. And then he went down to flex fights in New York City and put on a nine minute clinic over his last opponent, 4-0, four, oh, four incredible wins. For the same can be said about Nat Kaba. I watched him factory reset a man down in Schenectady when he fought down there in his second amateur mixed martial arts fight. Nat looks very angry about the talk. You can tell Al Shaddai is a showman, and Nat is not a showman at all. I can tell you guys, normally I'll, I can have an idea of who I think will win a fight, and I don't say it. This is one that generally I don't know. I usually just say it. This next bout is for the K4 Heavyweight MMA Championship. You can feel the electric in the air. This is not like the other fights. That's right, folks. The mixed martial arts heavyweight K4 title on the line here. This ain't going to this the first. <laughs> no, really I don't know if in it even leaves corner. the first round. He is Look at the focus on Nat Cobb's face. That's scary. He, he did not like the trash talk on the podcast three at three all. Three He's like, we'll see in the ring. You do your talking now. I'll talk in the, the ring. FCP Look at him. Stone cold. This is scary if he I've ever seen. A look. See to fire out of Rochester, New York. Representing synthesis. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, standing in six foot two, weighing in at 255 and one half pounds, he's Nat, the natural Kaba! Uh-oh. And his opponent is the number six heavyweight in the Northeast region. He is the cage lord, super heavyweight.
personalities, contrast, and styles. This is an exciting one to watch. El Shaddai oh, yeah. gives that Conor McGregor vibe when he builds up fights, guys. They're never not entertaining. There will be no glove touch. I'll bet you guys on that. Oh, here, here we go. go. Here we he go. ran out before the bell. That oh, was the best. Oh, my blood pressure's through the roof. He got like a karate stance to him. Yeah, yeah Matt. dude. Matt, he's very long with that, so very wide, excuse me, with that stance. Taekwondo, he resembles a Taekwondo fighter, but with hands. Yeah, he's almost got that same stance as Wonder Boy. You can see the, the arms are positioned that way. Switch very wide base. Oh, nice body kick there by Kaba to start off the fight. Those are good ones. They land right on the form and numbs the arm, too. Those are great shots to start off the fight with. Goes to the leg. He's avoiding El Shida's power. This oh, is the oh! 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 El Shaddai knocked him down here. Nat Kaba oh! able to get up, hopefully back to his feet. Nat back up to his feet. He survived that onslaught. The crowd not happy yep. here. Right, the cage. right in front of us now. Hands oh! El Shaddai plants him oh! back down. Oh! oh my God, the power of El Shaddai Van Hosen. That Good, probably able to circle back in. out. That needs to tie up these arms. Get this fight a little bit under control. Great takedown by El Shaddai. Uh oh, wait, this is up. El Shaddai's first fight where he's able to have ground and pound to the head as well, or where he's able to exercise it, I should say. That was a great takedown, too. He's doing a really good job with the wrestling. I'll wrestle on that quite a bit. It's the first time El Shaddai has weighed in under the 265 pound limit. Hey, Keith got a good cage here. <laughs> That's a good saying. cage. <laughs> Expertly built here at the Buffalo River Works as we have a little lull in the action. Yeah. <laughs> Nat's just re reliving his last couple minutes of this fight. He's like, oh man, I better get this under control. You know, if you're El yeah. Shaddai, do you want to get distance and maybe be able to bring back that striking? You do, but you can see how hard Nat's hanging on to him with that overhook, not letting him chill away. El Shaddai's doing a good job with the head. He might either peel away or go with the inside trip here. He could do either one, really. This is really favoring that. Kyle, but he needs his time to recover. Oh, nice knee there. Yeah. See what El Shaddai can do here with the remaining 50 seconds. Definitely been his round thus far. Big knockdown earlier in the round for El Shaddai Van Hosen. If Nat can get out of this round, this is a big win for him just to recover. I agree with you 100%. Clearing those cobwebs a little bit. He looks a lot more composed right now, thinking about what's going on. See what we have. El Shaddai is doing an awesome job controlling the head. By putting his forehead against uh, Nat's head, he's not allowing him to move against the cage, controlling the position and dictating the action in this fight. Now, El Shaddai is an incredible wrestler. He does work, or did a lot of work over at Lion's Den. Now he's out of clever combat. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the name Trent or Caleb Spengala here out of Buffalo College's wrestling program, but he got a lot of time in with those two gentlemen. It's definitely showing. His mat returns look very sharp. Oh, that was a nice knee on the bell by Matt. Yeah. Definitely 10-9 yeah. for El Shaddai in my book. Or more. He, he was really, really hurt. hurt. Let's see what happened. Oh. He oh, caught wow. him with like a short little uppercut. Was yeah. that what it was? Yeah, it looked like he shut his lights off early and he just stood up. Yeah. Jeez. A lot of damage done. And Bill Schwartz in the clever combat corner. Looks like he's pretty satisfied with what he sees so far from the big pisser. Big man ain't sitting down, okay, man. Shout he's out not. to all of the fans of the big pisser, El Shaddai Van Hosen tuning in. Wait, what's his name? The Big Pisser, El Shaddai Van Hosen. The Big Pisser? The Big Pisser. Oh, wow. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the biggest pisser of them all? <laughs> we have found out right here. I don't know. I think Tyreek might be more. He's a pretty big guy, too. It's a good if point. If we're just talking about urine volume. <laughs> per <laughs> gallon. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Nat's ready to go. Nat definitely has more respect for the power of Van Hosen as he meets him in the center. Those hands definitely up higher now. Yeah. Now he's initiating some fakes too. El Shaddai is looking to explode again. Smells blood. El Shaddai, very calm look on his face, very calculated as he checks that leg kick. Nat giving him a lot to read here as he's trying to pick his shots carefully. I don't think Matt Cobb has ever been in the trouble that he was in in that first round as he fires out a leg kick. 
Van Hosen can shoot off the legs with just that short hook, so it's very dangerous. Oh, oh man. That was like bull's button heads, that, that <laughs> right hand. Holy cow. Oh, El Shaddai's got a chin, too. And it really hasn't been tested very much yet in his amateur mixed martial arts career. As I said, across four fights, only one go to decision. The rest are round one, just obliterations. All the fights I've seen him, he just punches a guy and they fall down dead. That's what I'm saying. And that super heavy Great weight. single. Good defense by Nat. I'm surprised he's able to even get his leg back down the ground. Oh. Great oh. finish by El Shaddai. This is not good if you're Nat Cabo. Maybe show off some of that Brazilian jiu-jitsu you've learned over there at Synthesis. As El Shaddai has that one hand trap. You, it's hard to play jiu-jitsu when the guy's punching in the face as big as El Shaddai with as much power. You do not want to be on the bottom. Unfortunately, he's not finding much success on the feet either. And he's having a hard time getting a takedown. See, this right here answers all the questions we have about what the big kisser's capable of. Tension is thick in this building. Oh, oh yeah. I know you can cut it with a knife here at the Buffalo River Works. Oh, oh great, man, nice great head, head kick. Tape. El Shaddai marches forward, though, into a takedown attempt from great Matt Cobble. defense. Oh. Tied up defense. on a cage right next to us. El Shaddai doing a very good job. He you had that, wait, it looks like he's holding on to the fence here. Referees Brandon Medina does not miss a damn thing. He told him to let go of the cage. Yes. <laughs> and he knows which mouthpiece is which. Perhaps one of the most observant referees <laughs> in the game here is Brandon Medina. Mixed martial artist, Muay Thai practitioner himself. El Shaddai is doing a good job exploding, resting on the cage, dictating the pace. Oh, man, oh. nice turn by Nat. Let's see if Nat can do something to steal this round. El Shaddai with the knee to the body. It looks like they got him right here in front of us just about. These are big men. They're blocking out this. Hopefully, hopefully the cage won't fall, fall on us. Yeah. Ooh. Big miss by El Shaddai. Oh! 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 Shakes his head is El Shaddai, telling him it did not land. Ooh. There's the end of the round. El Shaddai is tired. Uh-oh. That's a bad sign right there. He, he did it quick, though, as to where, like, to, to make sure Nat didn't see that. Yes. Uh, that's such an interesting round. Could go either way from my untrained, uneducated opinion. Let's talk to the experts, though. Ray Arias, how do you score that round? Oh, man, this is a tough one, man. This is tough. Oh. Most significant shot of the round, and El Shaddai Body kick, too. The body kick landed. I thought it bounced off his arm. Hey, man, who do you give that round to? I think El Shaddai won both rounds, in my opinion. Um, he did get, he did get the take. He, he yeah, did get he's the on top. Yeah. He did the damage that dropped him again. But Nat Cobb is turning the fight around, and uh, Van Hosen is tired in the corner. Well, we he's very tired in the corner. Three minutes for the rest of your life. He said something about his arm. Something's wrong with his arm. El Shaddai will fight through anything regardless. He may have broke his hand on one of those uh, shots he threw. Maybe I can run over to Bill Schwartz, see what he had to say. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. Last round. Matt needs a big comeback here. Good body shot. Oh. oh. You see the sweat flying off them. A little bit of a thumb issue there for El Shaddai. Nothing serious. That's what he was talking to Bill Schwartz about. So it's broken in six places. Yeah, exactly. That was a great head kick combination by Nat. El Shaddai. Oh! oh my goodness. El Shaddai has got him in trouble. Can the big pisser take home another title? Oh, no. He's down flat now. He's got the leg scooped. El Shaddai oh, Van Hosen looking to close the show here at Buffalo Riverworks. Nat Cobb is struggling to get to his feet. He does not want to give up position here. Trying to get his back to the cage and come up one more time. Make one more effort to try and win this fight. Two Jeez. minutes, 10 seconds. He's got to clear this tie up, which he does. He's facing them, clears his arms. Now he's got to get off the cage. Great work by Nat. Turns How much does El Shaddai have left? Well, apparently enough to have put him on his back one more time here in the third round. One minute and 50 seconds to go. That's, Nat, how, 
That's a long time if you're tired. That needs a big performance right here. Medina's talking. He, he wants said, to don't do that or I'm going to take a point. I don't know what he was telling him about, but he offered to take a point there. Putting on the trunk, maybe? Or the cage. Oh, 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 oh. Matt Cabo unloading with everything he had there. Oh, he's got a minute a little hurt. 30 to finish this fight if he's truly down two rounds They're here. They're both hurt. This fight delivering all. Oh! 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 Signifies the king of the Northeast. El Shaddai Van Hosen goes down with one of the nastiest head kick knockouts I've ever seen. I'm it, looked sorry. Like wow. Nat, it looked like Nat Kaba had a little bit left in the gas tank, a little bit more than El Shaddai. He's making fun of him wow. right now. Nat was upset about the trash talk. Wow. Synthesis BJJ ain't nothing to mess with. That is the tagline. From tonight, oh. we got another KO King in K4. Yes, we do. Synthesis BJJ wow. takes home the win. Third round knockout. Wow. Oh, he's up. Let's see if maybe we can get that replay here. Look at the dancing, the showman now, Nat Cobble. Nat brother, impressive performance, showing everybody the talk is cheap. Here, comes here is the replay. the replay, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch this. Oh, Shadai's hands are down. You can tell he wants exploded. Oh, oh he just ate that kick right in the face. Good turnover. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever reacted like that to a knockout before. Look like we found out a knockout of the night. <laughs> I think we got a knockout of the night. I'm going to go in the cage, boys. I, I can't argue against that. That is one of the nastiest knockouts. There is the love right there. The fight delivered on all cylinders, folks. Incredible finish for an incredible buildup. Ladies and gentlemen, the new heavyweight champ of K4, Nat Cobb. Wow, that's unbelievable, man. I don't think I've ever screamed like that for a fight finish before in my life. Wow. I'm wondering if maybe we can get that replay one more time here on the screen while we're waiting. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the replay here. El Shaddai Van Hosen goes out via head kick. Absolutely stellar. But a knockout, one minute and 45 seconds wow. into round number three. Wow. <laughs> and new wow. K4 fighting heavyweight Still has champion Matt, the natural. Absolutely phenomenal moment there for Nat Kaba. El Shaddai Van Hosen knocked out, suffering the first taste of defeat here in his amateur career. Wow, man.
suffered some adversity in that fight. How bad were you hurt in the first round? And I wasn't hurt at all. I was chilling. Listen, I'm smart. I know what heavyweight is. How it is. Listen, it's just so different. I'm not like any other guy else in fall. Chris Sullivan hit him a few times on him to go out. It's not like that. I'm built different. That's it. Did you feel like getting weaker and weaker as the rounds went on? We saw his hands getting lower and lower from the second to third round. Wow. He looked exhausted coming off the stool. He put his hands on the knees. Did you see that? I was good to see it. Well, listen, um, I, I don't know. I heard him wheezing a lot in those grappling exchanges. So I knew, hey, weather the fucking storm. I'm methodical as hell. I was waiting for that bitch. He really wants to try to bite the face, you know what I'm saying? He bought him some tonic, but listen, you know, if you understand the game, you understand the game, but I'm level the head and uh, I got to show that, so yeah. He did a lot of talking in the cage. Or he did a lot of talking before the fight. You said you were gonna do your talking in the cage. I think you settled the score, man. Welcome to the new heavyweight champ of K4. Nat Kaba, give it up! Hey, y'all heard my walkout, so I better see some whole shakers of booty, man. Where's your coat? Wow. The new K4 heavyweight champion. Yeah. 